good afternoon everybody in this uh, uh, webinar presentation of second paper uh, in the second season and in this uh, uh, slot uh, we have these presentations uh, the presenters are kishan lata nandita nidhi niyati riddhi sneha and stuti and they are going to make uh, presentations on uh, post second world war 20th century uh, literature and most of you have taken topics from um, dystopian novel 1984 and uh, waiting for godot an existentialist play eh, waiting for godot and also uh, one we have from an artist of the floating world okay? Okay, so let us start uh, our uh, presentation. I hope everybody uh, has submitted their presentation in Google Classroom. Might have evaluated everybody in the morning slot. Yes, and in this slot also, as soon as your presentation is over, don't forget to evaluate uh, peer and self in the online form. Okay, we are starting with uh, the first presenter, that is Kishan. Yes, Kishan, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir, I am. Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to present about uh, 1984 as a dystopian uh, novel. So let's start uh, next. So a uh, dystopian society is uh, characterized by uh, misery, operations, uh, violence, disease and other uh, population. A vision of a society that is uh, opposite of utopia. Utopia is a name for an ideal community or a society. Uh, taken from it, uh, title title of a book written in uh, 1560 by Sir Thomas More that describe a fictional I, fictional Iceland in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, his idea were based on uh, Plato's Republic. So our mind is a uh, what is a dystopia? Uh, next. So dystopia is a survey is a moral or political warning often of the threat of oppressive regimes. Dystopian literature are often vision of dangerous and uh, alienating uh, future societies uh, intended uh, to critics current trends in uh, culture. The term was coined in uh, 18, uh, 1868 by the English philosopher John or uh, start melee next so the uh, dystopian novels uh, uh, novels usually included elements of a uh, contemporary society and are seen as a, a warning against some modern trends a writer used the terms as a cautionary tales in which a humankind is put into a society that many look uh, inviting on the surface but in a reality is uh, a nightmare uh, some example of animal farms 1984 by gs orwells and uh, the first man in the moon by sg wells next so 1984 as a dystopian novels uh, this novel is written by gs orwell the setting is the future world of 1984 in that times uh, in this novel, head of government is Knoven is a big brother, uh, the hero against the government, and uh, he was a uh, suffer of uh, many kind of uh, this event in his life. Next. So uh, dystopian, some characteristic uh, I am uh, connect to uh, 1984 novels. Uh, first one is a propaganda is used to control the citizen of society. So radio or TV is uh, always playing in 1984 novels. Walsing uh, gives a uh, introduction, provides in information about events that are happening, uh, moderates men. What men is uh, doing is uh, working to keep and watching on men. So all things use are control the citizen of society. Next. 
अदर वन इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फिगर हेड और कॉन्सेप्ट of worshiped by uh, citizens of the society so when big brother uh, is a show on on the screen everyone everyone every day him and respected him so which shows that one person dominate then that uh, person rules up over them and all person are follow the one man next another one is the uh, information uh, independent thought and uh, freedom uh restricted restricted so while winston want to present his thought in a, a diary so at that time this matter was considered a crime winston is uh, arrested and uh, tortured when a police uh, find out because he want to against big brothers rule and presented uh, his idea and uh, try to write something so uh, also this thing is uh, represented in this novel next another one is a citizen are perceived to be a uh, under uh, concerns uh, surveillance so in the 1984 novel we find that uh, everyone is playing attention one man there is a photo of big brother on all of screen and all time so everything is a uh, watching big brother everyone is a uh, dominate by big brothers and uh, uh, every uh, uh, follow and uh, uh, follow and uh, every uh, watching is big, big brother in this movie and uh, all control in big brothers next one another is a uh, citizen have uh, fear of the outside world so in this novels uh, a battle screen of two to find me needs shown on the screen every day to provoke people when a war is going on these people have a uh, uh hated for another country next one so citizen uh, live in a dehumanized state uh, very tortured uh, in uh, winston in this novel next the nature world is a uh, banished uh, and uh, dis- uh, disturbed in the so also you can say see in this novels uh, some themes and some images of nature and uh, after uh, against of world war uh, the world war themes next so finally and last characteristic of citizen uh, conform to a uniform expectation individuality and decent are bad so in this novel we can finally see uh, western himself a love big brother because he was uh, been uh, tortured so much that he mind has a uh, follow in love with big brother and he was a uh, follow to big brother uh, same follow all people like a uh, sheep man so uh, uh, after uh, and this novel uh, winston also uh, say i love big brothers and follow to big brothers next so or characteristic of dystopian literature uh, represented in a uh, 1984 uh, novel so you can say 1984 as a dystopian novel next here is my uh, references next thank you yes there must be the writer of this last citation also the fantastic modern japanese literature 2005 page number so there must be a writer also uh, that writer should be mentioned uh, in the citation okay otherwise it was very well prepared uh, good use of uh, screenshots uh, from the cinematic version you have done you can stop sharing now this and it was well prepared uh, uh, and orally also you you presented uh, most of the things instead of reading the slide you were orally presenting eh, those things okay uh questions to kishan kishan from eh, who is going to ask stuti and sneha yes sir my am i audible ha ah, yes my question is that how big brother control everything in 1984 
he has a uh, big brother always uh, control of uh, everything in people because uh, every every uh, tv screen always uh, photo of big brothers in uh, 1984 so, and a follow to uh, follow to big brothers uh, every day every time he forced to uh, peoples and uh, after uh, you not follow to anybody so at that time uh, big brothers uh, tortured him and uh, punished him so this uh, this way uh, this way big brother has a follow to uh, uh, follow to everyone uh, follow to every peoples in a uh, team my question is uh, why winston torture in 1984 yes uh, because uh, winston uh, write down in something own thoughts and uh, uh 1984 novel mentions big brother is not allowed to anybody write down own thoughts only for follow to uh, big brothers in a uh, uh, sheep way so uh, this reason is a uh, uh, western uh, punished and torture him okay uh, next uh, presenter is latta yes sir uh, for my presentation, I would like to call Riti. Okay, Lata. Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, comparison of uh, waiting for Godot and uh, Osborne's uh, look back uh, in anger. Uh, waiting for Godot is uh, written by Samuel Bucket and uh, look back in anger is written by John James uh, Osborne. Next slide, Riddhi. next slide yes so the historical background of the two novels is uh, is like that uh, uh, this both uh, uh, plays are uh, this both works are uh, produced uh, during the post war uh, post war literature uh, osborne's uh, play offered a revolutionary change on behalf of the betterment of the working class and orient um, the enlightenment to demonstrate the social corruption and uh, un, uh, unfairness for the British middle upper classes. While uh, Bucket's work uh, addresses uh, more to the uh, world humanity. Uh, next slide. Uh, if we uh, see in uh, Osborne's, uh, Osborne's uh, work, uh, he uses uh, realism to show uh, uh, this um, satisfaction uh, towards the society, uh, glissade in both constitutional and uh, sports. Uh, and uh, Bucket uh, rejects any uh, realistic view and uh, has a, a, a surreal point about the art that carries uh, no logic behind. His both uh, work inclu uh, include characters from uh, uh, ordinary people. Uh, if we talk about uh, waiting for Godot, uh, uh, Vladimir and Estragon belongs to a, a, a ordinary class uh, family. And uh, in look back in uh, anger, uh, the character of Jimmy is also belongs to uh, ordinary class people. So uh, this, uh, this was a similarity in uh, uh, both work that uh, uh, it includes the uh, ordinary people character. Uh, the language uh, of uh, uh, Osborne is a reflection of realism. He depicts the uh, uh, realistic situations in his work. 
uh, is like that what uh, uh, economical status and class ranks the characters have and how well and uh, poorly educated they are stand out the uh, their speeches and ways of using uh, languages uh, we can see uh, this uh, characteristic of uh, using la uh, language in osborne's uh, work uh, look back in anger and uh, if we uh, talk about uh, language using of uh, uh, bucket's writing for god uh, bucket does not believe in the real aim of uh, language language is used in a uh, functionless way with uh, no uh, intent at uh, conveying any kind of uh, meaning next slide uh, uh, these are the characters of uh, uh, both play uh, in waiting for godot uh, ladimir estragon uh, pozzo lucky and the boy uh, th uh, these are the uh, major, uh, major characters and uh, in look back into anger uh, uh, the jimmy porter uh, alison porter uh, 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 lewis helena uh, charles and uh, colonel uh, redfern these are uh, the characters of uh, uh, look back in anger uh, jimmy porter is a uh, uh, is a, a main character of uh, uh, the uh, work uh he was uh, belongs to a poor uh, poor fam uh, family and a middle class family while alison porter his wife is belongs to upper middle class family uh, the cliff lewis is a, a friend of uh, jimmy porter uh, helena charles uh, she was a, a friend of alison porter and uh, uh, colonel redford uh, redford is also a friend of uh, jimmy porter and if we talk about the uh, waiting for godot uh, vladimir and estragon uh, two characters who are uh, waiting for uh, un, uh, waiting for unknown person named godot also in lucky's relation uh, uh, we are very familiar with uh, the relation that also is master of lucky and uh, lucky uh, blindly follow uh, uh, all orders of godot and the boy is the messenger of uh, godot uh, who uh, give message to vladimir and estragon that um, uh, what uh, what is situation of godot mm, if we talk about uh, theme of the both work uh, the writing for godot uh, including uh, this uh, all things uh, like uh, humor and the Uh, absurd uh, waiting uh, boredom modernism and uh, postmodernism a uh, time humanity uh, con companionship uh, suffering and dignity uh, while uh, look back in anger is uh, include all these things like class and uh, education suffering and anger versus uh, complaincy uh, disillusionment and uh, nostalgia gender love and uh, innocent these are the uh, themes of uh, look back in anger next slide we see next slide Hello, Riti. Yes. Yes. Next slide. I changed the slide. Okay. Uh, so, in waiting for Godot, we can see uh, there is a meaningless. Uh, I think you'll have to reshare. Uh, 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 yeah, the slide is frozen. Uh, yes, Lata. I think the slide is frozen, so you have to reshare. Yeah.
in the waiting for godot uh, we can see that there is a meaningless actions and uh, activity in whole uh, play uh, vladimir and estragon uh, waiting for a, a person uh, 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 with whom they never talked and they never meet uh, uh, earlier but uh, they are waiting for uh, that person and uh, his name uh, was uh, godot uh, the theme of past is uh, similar in both works uh, and the both work shares a feeling of being lost in uh, pessimistic views the class system and its uh, distinction uh, in the society uh, if uh, i can explain it uh, through the uh, example of uh, dimis criticism uh, uh, then uh, we can see uh, see that uh, while uh, reading newspaper jimmy criticizes uh, upper uh, upper class people and uh, he also uh, criticizes uh, his uh, uh, wife also because she be, uh, she belongs to uh, upper class family uh, so uh, he wants to break that uh, rule of that system but uh, he can't do that so jimmy uh, jimmy criticized the upper uh, upper middle class uh, person in the uh, waiting for godot uh, we can uh, see the example of poza and lucky relation uh, we can see uh, class distinction in the relation also poza uh, was a, a master who uh, treat lucky as a slave and lucky also uh, blindly follow the uh, all the norms of poza and uh, even if uh, he get the chance to be free he, uh, he not uh, he not took a chance and uh, he not going to be be free uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, this chance but uh, he uh, blindly follow the uh, rules of uh, potso in waiting for good uh, uh actionless action of waiting and uh, look back in anger is more developed with the uh, 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 tires of uh, jimmy potter rather than outside forces uh, in uh, waiting for god uh, there is uh, no proper action and uh, uh, proper characterization that uh, conflict uh, gives back to the only rising uh, falling and climax uh, climax action is uh, the actionless action of waiting uh, vladimir and estragon is uh, only uh, waiting for godot and the structure of the play by osborne is uh, more proper than uh, that of bucket uh, uh, if we see uh, both works uh, the structure of the uh, play of uh, osborne um, osborne's work uh, look back in anger is a uh, more proper uh, rather than uh, buckets uh, waiting for godot uh, so this is my citation and uh, thank you thank you very much have you studied look back in anger under at your undergraduate level or anywhere else no sir okay fine uh, okay uh, is, uh, uh, in uh, wikipedia okay from uh, that you have seen that okay fine no problem okay next presenter is nandita and the questions to lata shall be asked in chat Is it visible properly, sir? Ha! Yes, it is visible. Okay. Good afternoon to everyone. This is the second presentation of this day. The paper is the 20th century literature, World War II. My topic of this presentation is based on uh, Animal Farm in 1984. 
First, we have to look upon the life of George Orwell to take some glimpse of it. Her, uh, his real name was Eric Arthur Blair. His belief was about politics and affected by his experiences fighting in the Spanish Civil War. He was also lived in India as a young boy and began writing at a very young age. Here, the main thing uh, or the main concept of this presentation is about the views of George Orwell over his novels. His views on socialist, communalist are also self-serving. He also noticed that all the people who are working in the contemporary time, who are working in um, various ministries, are all are all serving by their self. Or all all the people who are serving are serving only to their family, only to their loved ones, not to the nation. In our democracy, also these are the things which we which is prevailing, and we are watching it. Uh, now uh, it is on our daily routine. Uh, George always, uh, another thing is uh, he always felt he was an outsider and questioned any group's ideologies. Here a question arises that on which question he was asking about or on which outsider. Here in, in this uh, sentence, what, uh, what is the content of outsider? Outsider means outside of the world, outside of the nation or to belong on another nation or outside to be on ideologies of other people or other literary content also. Here are the posters of uh, George Orwell's uh, two famous novels, Animal Farm and uh, 1984. Here we can see that he always uses or the publisher always uses the colors which are very dark uh, in sense of black, uh, red color, black color, or uh, lightish yellow color to dignify or to propitiate all those things which are included in the work. Uh, as we are uh, comparing both the novels of George Orwell, uh, the question arises that what is animal farm? When we hear the word animal farm, we, we imagine something which is related to shepherd, sheep, gods, and all of the animals and stuff. But here there is something unique or there is something different in it. Uh, the main thing or the main content of the story or the novel is the story treats uh, the deplorable conditions of the mistreated and animals from the animal farm. This is the masterpiece of George Orwell. He wanted to try here to to exempt the corruption that is been working in this world, the corruption which is related in all the ministries, in all the world, in democracy, all in the whole nation in the world. He has, uh, he has exempted all this work which is based on corruption and in animal farm also, uh, the animals who are the owner of the farms are the head and they are corrupted, like uh, corrupted at that level that they can make anyone's death also. And here there is some interesting fact that although Animal Farm is a very phenomenal or spectacular act of George Orwell, yet he has to find a publisher to publish it. Now this is a fact which is based on the struggle of George Orwell. Another thing is the question arises that what animals or why animals are there in the Animal Farm? In explaining how can we write Animal Farm, Orwell says he once saw a little boy whipping a horse and later he wrote. Here, Orwell shares uh, his life, uh, real life experience with us that he had write Animal Farm by his uh, inspiration to a boy who is with horse. And then he these are the main words of George Orwell. It struck me that if only such animals become aware of their strength, we should have no power of them and that men exploit animals in same way or in such a way that rich exploit the workers. It is a universal truth that richer are getting more richer, poorer are getting more poorer, and rich people always exploit uh, their workers who are working for them. And here also, he uh, he also said that uh, people not only in the state uh, of the living of standard, like uh, if they are rich or if they are poor, but uh, humanity, human being also is exploiting the animals, which is not good at all. Here's another novel of George Orwell is 1984. 1984 uh, has uh, three or four dimensions which are very important uh, and all the dimensions are war is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. All these things are like blindly things. No one should follow all these things. But here in 1984, th these are the main themes of the novel. 
and the 1984 was uh, published in 1949 now this is the main thing which can make us uh, which which can make us uh, beyond the imagination that in the year 1949 george can imagine a uh, 55 years later thing and uh, and the main shocking thing or uh, a thing which you can be amazed like a, any any person who is reading this novel that all all the things what he write in the year 1949 is getting right in the year 1984 so it is a very uh, deep thinking of george Her- george orwell we can say here some are the aspects uh, that uh, uh, influence the poem 1980 uh, sorry the novel 1984 and that is the state is called oceania and is ruled by a group known as the party and its leader is the director which is known as the big brother another thing is very important thing which is uh, based on the real inspiration of george orwell because we can say that george orwell has uh, uh, terms diluted uh, in his mind his mind because he had taken many more uh, real life experiences although 1984 is not his autobiographical work uh, but he has to um, very important inspiration from the outside world and from the people who he didn't know so uh, one example uh, i say that uh, the big brother's inspiration which took uh, george orwell to make 1984 is joseph stalin now the question arises that who is joseph stalin so the this is the poster and uh, i have compared the both of uh, the big brother uh, on the right side there is the big brother of the novel and in on the left side there is the real joseph stalin the poster gazed from the wall and it depicted simply an enormous face now what is enormous face enormous face means a face which is unknown to everyone and more a meter wide meter wide means it is wider uh from a known person or from an ordinary person the bro- uh, the face of the big brother is much wider and the face of a man of about a 45 years and with a heavy black mustache and rugged handsome features so uh, there is uh, something unique features in uh, in this thing also that how can a handsome man be uh, can be this much of rugged and how uh, from to a handsome man uh, everybody is that much of telling so here uh, my my concern for the two uh, brilliant novels 1984 and the animal farm is that he has uh, spectacularly uh, proposed the both the novels in such a way that read- readers and uh, the people who is making uh, more inspiration from the novels and uh, working more and more over the novel because it is uh, like the contemporary time we are facing all these situations which is uh depicted by george orwell in the year 1949 or it is it is done in the year 1984 so it is very contemporary and it is very spectacular work of him and uh, we can say that all the features uh, which he has used it is very true to the uh, nation and to the society of this time as well these are the references which i had took some points over and uh, i had also made some uh, references uh, which uh, in presentation once i had tell me to make uh, uh, real uh, things or the things which had uh, poet or the author or the writer had made so i had also make changes and it and i hope you all like it thank you okay good well well presented good arguments and citation also was very well done yes questions to uh, to nandita latta and kishan yes may i uh, nandita why is your orwell use of politics politics in his work as per your view uh thanks uh, i think uh, george orwell uh,
थैंक यू इज माय वॉइस इज रीचेबल यस या यस या लता इज देयर लता Yes, Lata. Your question. I think she has left again. Yeah. Okay. Next presenter is uh, Nidhi. I'm going to present my screen. Uh, sir, let me know my my screen is visible or not. Oh. Ha, yes, uh, it is visible. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. Good afternoon to all of you. Uh, today, I am going to present the uh, two uh, two different work. One is called uh, "Waiting for Borders" and second is a therapy. A therapy is our regional literature. uh I, and especially i like this both our work because one is talking about the meaninglessness of life and one is talking about the meaning of the life uh so uh, it is the content that uh, what should i going to present the comparison of the both work main purpose of the both work character evolution and question connected to the human life uh, uh, uh it's a uh, basic information about me and the uh, paper Uh, so introduction introduction uh, uh, i'm uh, i'm putting the both the cover page of the works that the how um, waiting for god uh, are presented and atrapy are presented atrapy is a uh, one kind of literature which, which is not a uh, very well known in a western world but as our regional literature uh, i personally like it and uh, it's connected uh, and it is uh, this both work is totally contrast with each other so basic information and the waiting for god is written by the samuel beckett originally written in french uh, and uh, it so it's composed between 1948 to 1949 The English version uh, is uh, came out in a uh, 1955, and uh, it's actually drama. And and uh, on the contra uh, contradictory side, the trap is written by the Dhruv, but who is the Gujarati poet, novelist, and he belongs from the Gujarat India. And uh, the language uh, is uh, the original language of this work is a Gujarati, published in 2012, and uh, its genre is the novel. A uh, uh, theme of the both for the uh, so waiting for God consists the uh, humor and absurd. a uh, theme like a human and absurd waiting nihilism modernism post modernism uh, meaninglessness of life suffering dignity and it consists uh, uh, it's also and it has a great theme like a waiting we all are waiting for something and it uh, it is this kind of the absurdity of life like a not there is a nothingness in the life whatever doing it 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 has no meaning we are just doing the time pass while well, atrap is totally different to this world that it consists the humor it it has the meaning of life that all character describe that there is something who get uh, who give the urge to live who get um, you know push our self to live and full of life is full of beautiful and uh, it has the rea uh, reality as well as a fan a fancy we can say that in a one portion of the novel our protagonist play the sapno rambu sapno rambu uh, uh, that can kind of a game and uh, in the, the biggest thing which i um, like the most in the work that uh, animal as uh, animal represent as the human like how human have to be here this all interpretation given by a one dog Uh, and especially rural uh, rural rural life description and uh, at the end we found um, uh, it was the time of the modernism that uh, uh, writer uh, have to try uh, try uh, to describe how modern time had started so character evolution of the vladimir stragon versus our protagonist sarmi uh, the entire uh, 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 the character of vladimir in stragon is very fascinating because uh, whatever uh, he is doing uh, it discount the nothingness he repeated his sentence he repeated his uh, question he talk in a nonsense manner uh, we uh, we means ke all human race have become a lademir and instagram we are happy said anxious silly hopeful a uh, blank and due to the waiting for god lademir and instagram we need to we feel the time um, for the um, prime passes we are dancing exercising 
cheering our moods, singing our moods, giving the hard to being to try to happy, but uh, at the end everything is meaningless. And I would like to, uh, I would like to so, uh, uh, speak one dialogue by the Estragon and Lademir. And that Estragon says, "What am I to say?" Lademir says, "I am happy." Estragon says, "I am happy." Lademir says, "So am I." Estragon, so am I. Lademir, we are happy. Estragon, we are happy. So we can. We can see that this whole talk are it's fully fully talk. We don't have idea what he really want to say. Uh, once he start and they repeat two sentences and, and uh, on other side he somewhere suddenly stop. So uh, so we uh, okay. So we all are to estragon uh, and other meet. We are waiting for something, but we don't know that thing are um, came to us or not. We are changing our moods. We are doing so many things in our life. In our life, and we are and uh, um, in, we all are waiting for God, but we don't have a idea uh, personally that who is God for us. Well, the character of a char, character sketch of a Sarmi. Sarmi is a dog, but uh, and a protagonist of the novel. But uh, when we think or we analyze the character of Sarmi, we found that he is a more intellectual than the human being. His thought, his living style, uh, uh, his philosophy of life is totally different. And he to, uh, and he taught us the meaning of a life. He gave the urge to living of the life, and he, uh, we can say that. A character of Sarma is like the character of Shri Krishna. He teaches us that don't stay anywhere and don't uh, attach with anything. Uh, everything is meaningless. Somewhere he also discusses that meaninglessness of life, but he says that life is meaning, uh, full of meaning. And he uh, and especially when he says that Jnanam Bhantiyate means uh, if you have a knowledge, you are stuck with that. So if you want to uh, want anything, or if you want salvation, you don't stuck with anything. Uh, you have to move on everywhere. It is the real philosophy of life. Then um, uh, waiting in the both world. Uh, so somewhere uh, um, bay, both world consists the theme of waiting. Lademir and Istra want. Okay. So what uh, what they both want? They both want the salvation. Salvation. Uh, uh, in the term of Gujarati, we can say the moksh. In, uh, in in the English, it's a salvation. So in the waiting for God, how get salvation? The drama, the story of the two thieves. Lademir says our savior, two thieves. Uh, one is supposed to have been and saved, uh, and the other them and Istragon saved from what? Lademir hell. So it, it's a it's a story of uh, uh, Jesus when Jesus was crucified. Two thieves are there. So uh, they uh, what the real means of salvation? So uh, it is described in, uh, in this that salvation is what you ultimately want in the life, but it is uh, not possible because we don't know we have achieved the death or pro um, after death salvation or not. We have no idea about heaven or hell. So it is a, a all, all time of the question for us, and we cannot solve this kind of question. And that is why uh, th uh, this kind of work uh, remain uh, very great for us. Okay, the character uh, uh, for salvation for the Sarmi. The Sarmi is not waiting for anything, but uh, the, he uh, ultimately is waiting for moksha, and he knows how moksha will come. He believes in a karma theory. He knows there is the nothing is left, and he and that's why he never attached with anyone. And uh, I, I I would like to quote uh, these uh, lines uh, and uh, and these lines speak by the uh, uh, Sarmi's. Honor that if the money take none, nothing, but he who it is, Sami and a Satharivati coin a kayapi shakai, the bat who nothing mandi. Prakruti upon an elegant to up in a mokalia. This line is very fascinating that nature gave a different uh, existence to us that Samani with the Vartu Apramate Shaka came, Bunisaka, Apri Bata. We all are a different, we all are a unique. So, uh, 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 salvation. Or we can say the Godot for us is totally different for like for us nowadays. Godot is I'm, uh, I, I can say that I'm waiting for Godot and for Godot means for, for me the Godot means exam. I'm waiting for exam. So uh, in, uh, go, the Godot is uh, different for uh, each and every person. So the Sharmi Aku Kolecha ne Gambirathi bolyo ke Prutha Mara Agnan ne Odakwa chetlu Gnan parmane nathi. So it is the real sentence that uh, he has a Plenty of knowledge, but uh, he says that I have a no knowledge for my uh, to know myself. 
so it is the reality of life if you want anything if you want to salvation uh, and be uh, be like uh, you have a nothing uh, if you have a knowledge you you don't get to achieve uh, you don't achieve the salvation so uh, it is the main philosophy of life that we are connected with each and everything and we are constantly think that it gives something else it gives the salvation but it is not true the ultimate aim of life is nothing or anything but uh, 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 the thing is that uh, we are uh, just doing the time pass uh, so so uh, so what so both work is considered the universal thing okay so both work consists the theme like we are uh, it, it it pointed to each and everything yeah? it connected with each and every person we are not uh, we are not saying that i am not connected with this because we all are waiting for god and we are all waiting for the sal uh, salvation we all are ladimir and istagon and we all are the same we have we have idea that nothing in uh, there is a nothing in the life but still we are doing something to find out the meaning in the life uh, so the character of ashame teach us that life is the full of meaning but uh, uh, simultaneously he taught us that do not stay anywhere don't stuck anywhere because moon is the nature of a uh, uh, nature of the universe and you have to move on both of at the distinct uh, uh, discuss the question connected to human existence okay sharmi always uh, questioning about his uh, uh, his existence and when his guru says that to stay here he says that no because it is not a reality of the life and i i have to find myself while ladimir and istagon try to find their existence in the drama Uh, uh some of the question are unpredictable uh, about the human life uh, for example uh, uh, uh when we did uh, first uh, waiting for god so we don't have idea who is the god so god so for the each and every person is totally different uh, and uh, and uh, so, so, so many times uh we are thinking that uh, that uh, we are we are waiting for this kind of thing we we are waiting for this kind of thing we are achieving this but uh, at the end of our life we have uh, we we are going uh, we have not achieved anything so it is it is the both work which is connected with human life and uh, uh, the question of the human life is a uh, uh, human life are unpredictable and some question are like remain always you know uh, uh, like a doubtful so uh, in nutshell i can say that uh, the waiting for god and the um, therapy both are the very interesting the contrast between is that one is taught the meaning of life one is uh, says that there is the nothing uh, meaninglessness of life and especially character of through that we know that it our uh, through the life it's uh, for uh, for gujarat and uh, we all gujarati love to read to him uh, read them and his whole work is uh, like uh, 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 very beautifully described so and this book is also described very well in meaning of a life and we when we read the uh, character of uh, of sharmi we think that we all are the sharmi in the same way we read the character of ladimir and istagon we we feel that we all are the ladimir and istagon so in this way i have tried to uh, evaluate the both the work and especially two character and uh, as both character are waiting for salvation or waiting for god in the same way we waiting for something but we don't have i uh, don't have idea about that uh so it is the question about the human life uh, and thank you uh, your citations uh, are not visible okay sir uh now yes now yeah yeah okay yeah fine now see in the second site as and why is this canada there mm in the beginning yeah yeah okay so there is okay then uh, you, you, uh, uh this is for everybody yeah huh? you all can see this that uh in in the first uh, citation the year is at the uh, last uh, the sentence ends with 2012 in the mm -hmm. second 2006 is in parenthesis parenthesis bracket uh, after the name so see you see the difference uh, this are this are two separate style uh, first is mls style second is apes style so you are not supposed to mix both the styles uh, both the styles either mla 
or a PS style. Uh, only one style is to. We are going to talk about this. Uh, we are going to talk about this in our in our paper also on research methodology. But these are the points that you have to keep in mind that we keep on making such simple mistakes. So uh, we can be uh, aware about uh, this. The same way D, Peter, G, Tigani, that all is problematic. Yeah? Uh, uh, way of citing uh, the things also there. Full surname. Uh, last name should be full. Uh, last name should be full. Uh, you might have copied this from some of the sources. Uh, and all journals follow a different pattern. That's why it happens. Uh, so we have to follow one pattern. Uh, MLA, APA or one simple pattern where last name is very important. Last name comes uh, full. Uh, it is organized alphabetically with last name. Okay, okay fine. Uh, you can stop presenting. And it was a very good presentation, a very good way of uh, understanding existential angst, uh, the meaning of nothingness, uh, uh, and both the works. Uh, uh, very well uh, 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 cited examples uh, from both the works were given to prove uh, the, the point there. Okay? Uh, questions to her, uh, Nandita and Lata. Yes, yes sir. May I? Hi, yes. Yeah. Okay, Lata, you speak. Okay, Nidhi. My yeah, question keep your, is... Keep your uh, camera on when you ask a question. I am repeating this again. Eh? Normally, for grown-up students, we are not supposed to repeat instructions again and again. Yeah? We are not with the KG students. Eh? We are with the PG students. So only one, samajdar ko ishara kafi. <laughs> so I don't have to repeat uh, things again and uh, again. Yeah? Okay, yes, Lata. Yeah. Uh, so Nidhi, uh, my question is, uh, are you waiting for Godot? Uh, and uh, what Godot mean for you? Uh, yes, I'm waiting for Godot. And nowadays, Godot for me is my exam. <laughs> because government not declare anything. Thank you, Lata. Yes, who is the next? Yes, Nandita. Uh, I think her screen is frozen. Are you there, Nandita, or disconnected? Yeah, maybe she is perhaps disconnected. Okay, she will ask her question in in uh, in chat. Okay, next presenter is Niyati. Yes, sir. Uh, Stuti is going to share my screen. Okay, so my topic is on the theme of nothingness in waiting for Godot. Okay, so here is the definition of nothingness. The absence or uh, cessation yes, let, of life uh, yes. or... Yeah, yeah, the, let the presentation play. Yeah, full screen. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, now you can start. Yes. So the definition of nothingness is the absence or uh, cessation of life or existing. Worthlessness or insignificance. A state where nothing is present or where nothing exists that is important or gives meaning to life. Now I want to give you example of nothingness. Uh, we don't have to go far for, for, uh, the, for the examples. The example is us, uh, today's generation. That uh, we are like only uh, sitting, eating, chilling in Netflix. We don't like anything to do, to do in your life. And apps like uh, Netflix, uh, Hotstar, etc. gives us uh, that type of uh, interesting movies, series, web series, etc. Uh, that's why we, want, we don't want to work anything. And uh, we just want to sit like, uh, sit on sofa and uh, eating, chilling. Uh, we just want to see that uh, uh, what are the meaning of that uh, series, what, uh, what was, uh, what is the concern of that. And we just want to see that. 
and uh, uh, second example i want to give is that uh, i don't really uh, remember the uh, chapter's name of that uh, we are studying uh, we were studying in uh, standard 4 or 5 i just uh, don't really remember uh, there uh, there was one chapter uh, in which uh, the the story is that uh, uh, one boy uh, who, who was uh, continuously telling her his father that papa ka gado papa ka gado and uh, his father uh, always replied with ha beta ka gado ha beta ka gado uh, what was the reason behind that uh, conversation nothing nothing beyond that uh, that uh, continuously that conversation uh, goes on uh, we can't uh, we can't get anything from that conversation so uh, this both are my uh, examples for uh, nothingness and here are the things of nothingness uh, main things are hope and nothingness uh, sub things of uh, of the play is a friendship suffering uh, dependency and choices and uh, here is the one uh, dialogue from that uh, novel i am like that either i forget right away or i never forget so nothingness in the play uh, which reflects less action important but uncertain a uh, hopeless destiny of human race the setting of the play is influenced by a mode of nothingness whereas in the tradition play we see a concentrated single action motivates the whole play here in the case of waiting for the god everything is fully uh, everything is full, uh, fueled by the uh, sense of nothingness we can't find anything else uh, in fact uh, here nothing creates everything uh this picture shows uh, dialogues uh, conversation between it estragon and uh, ladimir uh, estragon says they let's go uh, ladimir says uh, that we can't so again estragon ask why not uh, he answered with uh, we are waiting for godot so in this novel estragon uh, represents the impulsive simply uh, simplistic side of the two main characters much in contrast to his uh, companion ladimir's careful intellectualism and and uh, verbosity he cares little of appearance and is uh, mostly concerned with eating and sleeping uh, due to his uh, his pessimistic outlook on life he has abandoned all hope of any alternative from their suffering and regards godot's uh, godot will come will come he was getting bored by waiting for godot and uh, he says that uh, uh, let's go ladimir but uh, but ladimir answers that uh, we can't then again uh, isagun asks that uh, why we can't go back uh, here ladimir uh, told uh, tell told him uh, tells him that uh, we can't go back because because we are here for wait uh, for godot we are waiting for godot and the next picture is uh, uh, we are So the previous slide show. Before conclusion. Yes. So here is the dialogue that we are alone, waiting for the night, waiting for God. waiting for waiting they are waiting for godot but uh, he he can't uh, he don't appear uh, he don't appear but uh, they are waiting waiting every day the routine is uh, the routine is same uh, is same uh, the boy comes uh, comes to ladimir he ask him uh, that uh, when when will come godot but the boy answers that godot will come tomorrow and uh, this uh, this uh, sequence uh, continues every day next slide after the after the study of this play we came to know 
we came to know that uh, nothing special happens in neither the play nor we observe any significant changes in setting through a change occurs but it is only that now the tree has uh, sprouted out four or five leaves nothing happens nobody comes nobody goes it's awful the beginning the middle and the end of the play do not rise up to the level of a good play so absurd change the slide okay sir so this was your presentation Okay, uh, so uh, uh, questions I would request everybody to put in the chat, but a few other things, uh, Neeti, as we discussed uh, uh, earlier also about putting a, a proper uh, camera, uh, a proper way uh, of uh, putting a camera that we were talking about. So that that is what because today nowadays we have lot many such uh, devices uh, that it is uh, uh, easy to to get something that you can. focus yourself in a in a better way uh, because if, when you keep on moving uh, then uh, you can see in this image that uh, how your face will go out of focus uh, when you are talking and you are moving uh, uh, and it is very near love uh, if you see for example in this screen uh, uh, right now nidhi or riddhi uh, whose cameras are on so it is stable it is parallel Yeah, so that way so you can straight away uh, look at it these are the skills which we are talking about that when we think of webinar presentations online at that time uh, we have to understand uh, that how to put camera mobile phone uh, all those things are necessary skills uh, earlier uh, morning also i repeated this uh, that uh, like language is important literary sensibilities are important the same way understanding uh, technology in 21st century also is very important so we should not take all these things lightly lightly so we have to keep things in a proper way there are lots of things now tripods are available not very costly a simple tripod is not very costly uh, small uh, this kinds of devices are also there uh, which we can uh, put and we can put uh, in a stable way uh, this so so that all also start uh, uh, learning and uh, utilizing those things so everybody uh, those who are still having a problem of where and how to put camera in a proper way normally in uh, all your classes you were supposed to do this in all your classes you were supposed to keep camera properly keep camera on and listen and then reply talk discuss with teachers but most of you were not doing that most of you were never keeping your camera on during uh, uh, online classes and so now you don't know that where to put you don't have instruments uh, to put Uh, those things because it it might be lying somewhere uh, on sofa on table when the classes were going on uh, so uh, that's why you don't have the tools proper tools otherwise in one year uh, in one year we should be having all those tools uh, one year is a long time uh, one year is not uh, a less time to to learn and have all these things in our our homes also okay? so uh, uh, this all gets reflected that uh, how sincerely you were attending online classes also <laughs> Uh, now we we display in sincerity in doing the things and then we say that well online is failing then we say online is failing but we are failing online we are failing we are not sincere uh, and so it is normally uh, failing uh, similar way there was one one more example that you cited uh, when to prove the 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 meaning of absurdity uh, in your exam that was about uh, 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 are you there uh, or not uh, where is or left huh? yes sir ah, okay you uh, keep your camera on so uh, i can see you are you listening or not yes, because bija loko mate to ek am nu nahi so if you are there then i can see whether you are listening or not. Uh, another example you gave about netflix uh, the and the generation there now uh, uh, if you will look in that way that watching netflix uh, uh, or web series is a uh, is a uh, wastage of time huh? so in that way uh, studying literature will become wastage of time <laughs> in that way even those who study literature yeah, people will say that well what is the purpose of studying stories varta ho banwa thi thai su ke engineer banao uh, i want to say that uh, you should watch one or two episode in a day hmm. uh, you can sit like uh, there 24 hours or 20 hours with your mobile phone on 
yeah okay fine now suppose somebody is reading 20 hours a book a novel will we see in a similar way or we'll say that well why always with book if somebody is reading uh, engrossed with the novel reading of a novel so same question can be raised to those people also that why are you always ring why don't you watch tv for a while no sir will we give that, uh, that example or not no because see when there was no television eh, when there was no tv or uh, cinema was also not there we know cinema is just came in 20th century but we were, we have a history of 18th century 19th century victorian age what were people doing people were just reading novels and people were telling eh, and there were people who were telling that oh this person is wasting time in reading eh? all day he is just reading only and when women were writing novels the same approach was given that all day sitting and writing novels <laughs> the way we say now today that all day sitting and just watching uh, uh, web series the same same tone uh, uh, same insult was given to the women who were all day sitting and writing novels that's why we compare that well uh, uh, that was wrong then it is problematic even today also it was wrong then it is problematic uh, even today also so how uh, how literature student will see and how other people will see other people will say if you are with the science people with management people with engineering people they will say what is this literature what is the uses of the literatures wastage of time varta vacho ke na vacho ab to varta ne j banwano ano su matlab ke ab to varta banwano su matlab so that is that is already there so as a student of literature we are here to give answer to those things and today's happening literature is on web series today's happening literature or uh, is uh, cinema also cinema uh, but cinema for one year is not happening thing uh, so the attention has moved to uh, this or stage performance uh, if you see natak uh, now if you participate in natak uh, uh, drama to tamare lagbhag 18 18 kalak jaine rehearsal karu pade to bija to emj jose na ka su aakho divas natak natak j kare ch 18 hours you have to do rehearsal uh, of that thing then only you can perform uh, uh, even the the theater uh, performance of that also uh, there so that is uh, how uh, you, you see that what what kind of uh, things are being seen uh, in in wastage of time or absurdity into that and how do we uh, consider those example that is very important uh, to keep in keep in mind there uh, uh the, there was one more point also which, which i missed out in your uh, presentation uh, also mithi you gave another example also which was also little bit with little bit confusing uh, in its own uh, term also okay fine fine let us come to the next presenter yes next presenter is riddhi yeah Yes, you can start. Yeah. No, your voice is not audible. Uh, still very low. Uh, it is still very low are you using any other things to record no. maybe because of if you are using or is it laptop from where you are giving your voice out yes laptop uh, so then uh, uh, check the volume settings in your uh, this here. volume is very low now is it visible or audible sir uh, still very low very low sound here 
Okay, we are taking another turn. Check out your things or restart your device and see that. Okay. Uh, okay, another is Sneha. Yes. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Ha, yes. Okay. I am sharing my screen from Aditi's device. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Today, I would like to present uh, about religious significance in a waiting for Godot. So, about uh, play. Samuel Bucket is a famous uh, uh, Irish dramatist and novelist. Waiting for Godot is his masterpiece. The play is uh, one of the uh, classical works uh, work of theatre of effort. It is a multiplayer drama uh, which has many interpret uh, interpretations. Uh, the, uh, the play seems absurd but with a, a, a deep uh, religious meaning. Through the play commonly interpreted within the context of the theatre of as uh, existentialist literature, it is also uh, Christian allegory and also uh, interpreted with her religious uh, interpretations. The play has very strong evidence of theory of existentialism, but uh, still it can be uh, related with many other religious, in, uh, many other uh, religious interpretations like a uh, christian myth uh, of uh, uh, two thieves waiting uh, second coming of uh, jesus christ uh, hindu philosophy and its avatar and other interpretations uh, so uh, here is uh, the, uh, some points that theme of the uns uh, uncertainty of uh, salvation two thieves uh, on the cross the theme of the uncertain uh, uncertainty of the hope salvation and the sense Bestowal of divine grace does indeed pervade the whole play. Valdemir states it right at the beginning when he says, One of the thieves was saved. Valdemir states it right at the beginning when he says, One of the thieves was saved. It is a responsible percentage letter uh, he inglays on the subject. Next point is Goddard's unpredictability uh, in uh, bestowing grace. Goddard himself is unpredictable in bestowing kindness and punishment. The boy who is, uh, is his messenger looks after the gods uh, and uh, Goddard uh, treats him well. But the boy's brother who looks after the sheep is written by Goddard. And why doesn't the beat you ask Valdemir? I don't know sir. The boy replies, the uh, paracle to Cain, I will, is evident. Uh, next point is, uh, in this, uh, we find that do, uh, two divisions of mankind, the chance of uh, bestowal of grace, which human beings cannot com uh, comprehend, it, divided mankind into those who will be saved and those who will be damned. When in uh, Act uh, 2, Pozo and Lucky return and the two tramps try to uh, identify them, Eshagons call out that away, away, Pozo immediately responds this. Uh, next is Pozo's fail, uh, failure. Uh, uh, in this we find that when Pozo and Lucky uh, re uh, repairs the next day, Pozo blind and Lucky dumb, no more is heard of the fair. Uh, and uh, Pozo has failed to tell Lucky uh, his blindness in thinking that he could uh, uh, thus influence the action of grace has been made evident in a, a concrete physical uh, form. A religious or a Christian play. 
Waiting for God at then seems to be a concern with the hope of salvation through the working of grace. In this uh, view, supports we believe that it is a Christian or a religious faith. Uh, Valdemir uh, and uh, Estragonus waiting might be uh, explained as a signing thing their uh, uh, steadfast faith and uh, hope while Valdemir's kindness to his friend. Next point is uh, thought of uh, so, uh, suicide. There is, uh, in this play, there is a one feature of the play that uh, leads us to assume that there is a better solution to the trans uh, predicament. A solution which the trans themselves uh, consider uh, preferable uh, to waiting for Godot. That solution is suicide. We should uh, have thought uh, of it when the world was young. In the intent, uh, in this, uh, says Valdimir in the, on the young side. Uh, next point is uh, the dead voices. Valdimir and Estragon's uh, pestilence are designed uh, to stop their, uh, to stop them from thinking. Here is that uh, we find that we are in no danger on thinking anymore. Thinking is not the worst. That is a terrible is to have thought. Uh, this is uh, this sentence is uh, uh, said by the Valdimir. Valdimir and Estragon uh, talk uh, in uh, innocently because they wish to uh, hear the dead voices, which explore the uh, mysterious to of being and the self to the limits of anguish, uh, anguish and suffering. Uh, next is the tramp fest. Uh, in this, in support of the Christian interpretation, it might uh, be argued with Valdemir and Estragon, who are waiting for Godot, are shown as a clearly superior uh, to Pozo and Lucky, who have no appointment. So, uh, in this, Valdemir says, uh, is aware of the full of uh, horror of the human condition. He says that the air is full of our cries, at me too, someone is looking. But the routine of waiting, which has become a habit, Prevents an awareness of the full reality of being. Here is my reference. Thank you. Okay, Riddhi, are you ready? Yes, sir. Still, but your sound is very low. Can you speak anything? We can get the sound. Am I audible? You have to speak very loud, otherwise it is low sound. Yeah. Okay, so I will try. Is it visible, sir? Yes. Uh, yeah. By the time you get ready, Sneha, uh, Sneha you have cited one reference of, from some uh, WordPress.com, some blog, uh, religious significance in waiting for God. But the name of the writer is not given. You have not mentioned the name of the writer, Sneha. Who is the writer? So that is very important. Then it, then it becomes more reliable and authentic when you put the name of the, the writer in that. Okay, sir. And in this point, you will find very good articles which are written and with the name of those also, because this topic might have been discussed by many other people also. So you can Google and find uh, things also. Okay, fine. Yes, uh, Riddhi? Yes, sir. Ha, yes. Yeah, you can start now. Okay, so good afternoon, uh, respected sir and my old dear friends. Today we are deal uh, with our paper number uh, 107, the 20th century literature. And uh, in this paper, we have a very interesting uh, text, an artist of the floating world. And uh, my topic name is the use of generational differences in order to establish the important uh, importance of an artist of the floating world. So first we see that key objectives. So who is the Kazuo Ishiguro? The introduction of the artists of the floating world after themes and motifs. And our main point is the use of generational differences in order to establish the importance of an artist of the floating world. So who is the Ishiguro? He was born in 8 November 
1954 uh, occupation is novelist short story writer screen writer uh, then specification of ishiguro's work or a narrative style of ishiguro so novels are characterized by the way that the calm expository style then a deep yearning to uh, recapture uh, recapture and make sense of the past uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, trailer of uh, uh, the artist of the uh, an artist of the floating world can i uh, so to listen for answers this is my favorite place, the Bridge of Hesitation, where I listen to my conscience and relive the past. But whose story am I telling? What do you see? Matsuda! An elderly grandfather stooping on a bridge? Or a famous artist who defied a nation? Because we each paint the landscapes of our lives. And the world is just a canvas for the imagination. For an artist of the floating world, what is real and what is fantasy? So now we take a brief introduction of an artist of the floating world. Here I am not putting up a full summary or analysis of this uh, text, but I I am trying to uh, describe that right. Uh, so now, written like a diary entry to be shared with a close friend. An artist of the floating world allows Ishiguro uh, to develop further the subjective mindset of a narrator. The reader becomes gradually acquainted with Ono's troubled career as in the present of the post-war period of 1948. The old man worries about marriage negotiation for his second daughter. Uh, second daughter. Also starting as a fashionable artist who had taken his themes and motives from the underworld, the Japanese term is floating world of the Bohemian's artist and uh, of his unnamed city. Ono denounces his decades uh, during the rise of imperialism in the 1930s. The young Ono now penned a piece in the style of patriotic realism preferred by the militaries. Ishiguro's resolution to Ono crisis is marked by a dis uh, disarming, gently ironical uh, and uh, humanism. Uh, then th uh, these are themes of this uh, novel, the relevance of the artist, memory, self uh, preservation and self-deception, family, reputation, family secrets, city and nation, then history, uh, marriage is a uh, most important theme is, the, uh, is this novel. And now our main topic, uh, the use of generational differences in order to establish the importance of an artist of the floating world. So the biased flashback characterized profusely by the unreliable narrator Ono. Ono frequently sees relation in his older years through his grandson Ichiro. This generational gap serves as a perhaps the most intimate uh, represent, uh, repre uh, representation of this new way of doing things. However, it is Ono's hope that his teaching served to install in his grandson grandson Ichiro, the remains of the past that surely still have some worth. In this book, uh, uh, Ono said that certain traits will tend uh, to survive like some shadow of that influence. It is my hope that my grandson will retain them into his adulthood. 
then in order to further the idea of picking and choosing the elements of the past in order to avoid the self uh, self same eras airs is that unreliable narrator in the flashback scene bulk of the novel so uh, ono said that most things are complicated than he appear mr inchi your generation uh, generation tends to see things far too simply the complexity of the floating world it seems is not complicated by the time of action landscape of post war era japan the scene uh, of uh, in introspection draw a significant parallel when the placed against the backdrop of the modern ways those in the olden days are both physically and metaphorically crumbling as they make way for next generation truly ono declares that he hope uh, hopes that as time goes on that these young people may uh, reestablish the floating world in which the outlook is less bleak and uh, this is last that one can only wish these young people well uh, these are refer uh, references thank you sir yes questions to riddhi who is asking niyati and nidhi am i sir uh riddhi what is the bridge of hesitation uh yes yes nidhi so the bridge of hesitation is both a literal feature it is physical bridge which ono crosses to get home from the city uh, we see that in this uh, movie trailer and uh, has a uh, several symbolic functions first it represent ono's uh, hesitancy as his struggle between opposing uh, opposing force and the past and the future his self image and the truth uh what were the most common topics used by the artist of the floating world uh yes niyati i also include in this thing uh but uh most sub, uh, is like a uh, memory self uh, perception and uh, self deception then the relevance of the artist family reputation family secrets family uh, family laws then city nation history these are okay uh, the i think the last presentation of the day is tuti yes yes sir nidhi is sharing my screen yes you can start okay sir good afternoon everyone today's my topic is uh, themes of waiting for godo uh, waiting in the waiting for godo two characters in the waiting for godo two character are main vladimir uh, vladimir and estagon both are waiting for godo Uh, both are waiting uh, waiting but both have not uh, clear idea about godot godot will come in the which day and uh, they also don't know uh, that uh, that godot will come or not uh, but uh, still they are waiting next uh, as a bucket titles uh, indicated uh, indic uh, indicates the central act uh, act of the play is uh, waiting in one of uh, one of the most silent uh, aspect of the play is the nothing uh, nothing really seems to be uh, seems to be happen uh, vladimir and estragon uh, spend uh, spend spend the entire play uh, uh, 
it is like a uh, endless waiting next go dot uh, in the play estragon and uh, vladimir away uh, uh, estragon and uh, vladimir a way to wait for uh, for the arrival arrival of a mysterious character named uh, named godot however godot never uh, never arrives therefore the uh, audience uh, therefore the audience never uh, actually uh, actually learns uh, who godot to lead uh, when when we stay when we stress on the next uh, on the next is the main human conditions one of the central theme of uh, waiting for god is uh, is the human uh, condition as a uh, homeless uh, tramp to vladimir and estragon uh, represent uh, those who have been uh, left behind by uh, by uh, society the old age uh, the poor and the men uh, in fire who feels uh, feels as thought they have been uh, abandoned by god and uh, dumped uh, to live uh, to live of the uh, misty misery and uh, uh, disconnect the play uh, suggest that uh, this is man nature says uh, a uh, distinct uh, distinct uh, characters of uh, distinct characteristic of this play is that uh, the human condition is the review uh, human condition is the uh, review in the act of uh, waiting here here the act uh, of uh, waiting means uh, waiting means the last ounce uh, Uh, of um, uh, belief in the world um, world where they live in the we uh, uh, live in the since uh, since the human conditions uh, appears is the um, uh, and next is a humor humor and the absurd waiting for godo is the waiting for godo is a prime example example of uh, uh, what has come to be known Uh, as the uh, theater of the absurd uh, the play is uh, filled with uh, nonsensical line uh, word play uh, meaningless meaningless uh, dialogue and character uh, character who absurd absurd uh, absurdly uh, shift emotions and uh, forget every everything to what happened yesterday um however this uh, humor after uh, uncomfortable so mixed uh, together with uh, tragic of uh, serious context to make a darker uh, kill of uh, kill of kill of comedy uh, this uh, this humor is uh, this humor is uh, often uh, uncomfortable mixed together with uh, together with uh, tragic or serious uh, content to make a darker uh, darker kind of uh, co- comedy uh, estragon uh, refers uh, estragon refers to billions of author next suffering uh, bucket play uh, uh, play uh, bucket play is a uh, film which a great deal of uh, Uh, physical mental and emotional suffering uh, vladimir and estragon are uh, servants for the food in the um, uh, cycle spain and the uh, and bored to death both have a, a, um, any more fear the uh, death uh, why why they are constantly waiting for god Uh, yeah, in the, the suffer, uh, suffering is suffering is a constant suffering is the constant and uh, fundamental part of the humor uh, humor existence in the waiting for godo every change uh, every character suffering and uh, suffer uh, always with uh, with no seeming uh, repair in uh, uh, time the hardship uh, range from the uh, uh, to the mental uh, the mirror, mi- minor to the extreme next next is time uh, closely closely related to the 
to the modernist and uh, post modernist aspect to the bucket play is uh, its uh, uh, concept of, uh, of time as issue of uh, uh, fast fast scenes to uh, modernist and uh, post modernist uh, alike uh, perhaps uh, the most important thing about time in the play uh, is that is the um, it is um, uncentral uh, ten in uh, all the characters are uh, unsure of uh, uh, exactly uh, when the play is uh, taking place uh, the time uh, period is uh, unclear uh, as is the is the related uh, chronology uh, uh, of uh, of the play events in the, the nm of, of the modern age man has uh, to race uh, hard against time in an um, however the dramatic dramatic person are uh, dramatic person are separated from the world living in um, living in on a uh, um, uh, men's land next comparison between the one scene of the lutera movie and uh, the play waiting for godo next introduction about movie lutera is a uh, 2013 indian uh, indian uh, historical um, uh, historical uh, romance film uh, directed by um, uh, vikramaditya uh, directed by vikramadit vikramaditya um, uh, motwins and uh, uh, pa party based on uh, or o henry um, 1907 short story the last left Uh, in the movie two main character are there uh, sonakshi sinha uh, played role of uh, pakhi and uh, ranveer singh uh, played or uh, role of uh, varun next next comparison between the movie and play uh, when we compare waiting for godo with lutera movie uh, in the movie pakhi is waiting for death uh, she constantly look at the tree and because she thought that when all uh, leaves leaves are uh, goes away at that uh, time she dies uh, so she compare so she compare her death with the leaves of the tree next Uh, and uh, at the end uh, of the movie all leaves of the uh, of the tree uh, are uh, goes away and uh, she dies at the end of uh, the movie uh, in the text leaves grows on the tree and uh, and that leaves given a hope to latimir that uh, godot will come next day next next different be different between movie and play uh, she want to, uh, she wait for death and um, uh, he wa he wait for godot and uh, in this movie um, leaves uh, of the tree given hope for death for to her and in the play uh, leave of uh, of of the tree uh, give hope for godot uh, to him and ladimir uh, become hopeless but in the movie she dies to her hope uh, fulfill at the end of the movie next uh, similarity between the movie and um, uh, movie in the play both are waiting in the and uh, in the play and uh, in the movie um, uh, tree become a symbol and uh, in the movie another character uh, varun uh, uh, tries to uh, give uh, gives uh, her hope to le uh, live life and uh, tree gives hope for uh, death he attached the leaves on the 
branches branches of the uh, tree so her hope for uh, life become uh, alive and uh, in the uh, next uh, little boy and uh, tree give uh, hope to uh, uh, vladimir next um, last is conclusion uh, everyone waiting for uh, something uh, some waiting for uh, uh, happiness and uh, some uh, some some for death i uh, i compare movie and the uh, play because uh, in the movie and uh, in the play uh, leaves become uh, symbols symbols of hope uh, in the movie and um, in the play waiting become so um, uh, central theme thank you okay so uh, from uh, where have you taken this source source of your this comparison yes nidhi you can stop presenting yes you, you have not cited anything yes tuti yeah. you can keep your camera on and yes sir yes sir to which one do you remember the name wikipedia and spark note uh, then any other things i think i think spark notes or wikipedia will not compare with lutera film okay. lutera because they don't talk about hindi film when they prepare other the, other, um, uh, other ppt sir uh, which one who's uh, anything you remember no sir now now see uh, this is what we tell that you don't just copy paste things from internet resource uh, so you have almost copied from this resource this ppt uh, slide by slide here without changing a single word you have taken uh, from this uh, one this ppt yeah it seems like this is your ppt yeah. even the design also is very similar yeah. this all images i i remember this because this student also uh, is our student and uh, was completed this and uh, did this presentation earlier here and uh, we also told her that her comparison is incomplete uh, with uh, this idea about a leaf uh, or a few leaves in in this and this o henry's short story uh, lutera is based on that uh there and then this leaf is completely different thing so it was uh, very difficult to stretch this comparison uh, in in this way so it was uh, problematic and there are many spelling uh, errors of uh, grammar in this which also we suggested but see what happens uh, uh, this is vidyarthi manej nahi tame kyo to ye na sudharo kare ane e upload kari de pachi biji pedi na vidyarthi aave to e pan e copy kare bhul pan copy kare mistake also is copied that is what i, I we keep on telling ke tamne je kahu chu nanak nanak ni babat ke aa vastu nu dhyan rakho tame dhyan nahi rakho tyare e avnara vidyarthi pan e copy karse jem tame avi bhul ni copy karo chu agla vidyarthiyo ni pan so and, and this is very grave that you prepare your own 5 uh, minutes apre 5 minute bolvano hoy etlu jo apre m a na vidyarthi na boli sakiye koi pan topic upar तो पे एम एवं मतलब बी ए कर ग्रेज्युएट थी अँ ग्रेज्युएट विद्यार्थी पांच मिनिट बोलवा एक कंटेट तैयार न कर सके पांच कलाक तो इनफ है आटलू करने कोई पर टॉपिक जो भैया होना आटली बड़ी चोरी करी पड़े कि बधु आप डाउनलॉड कर लीए सो देट इज नॉट फेर यू इवन इफ यू टेक एंड प्रिपेर योर स्लाइड देन ऑल्सो इट इज ओके You take each and every slide. Better on slide, let you have. Pachi, that maro add kiru hai. Toh ya apre maniya ke chalo okay fine. But word by word by word, even mistakes, you don't correct even the mistakes. Toh me pachi ni bhasha ni bhul pan sudar ta na thi. Ye badhu m ne m mukhi do. Toh it is it is really bad. It is bad to see that such kind of things may may happen or students of M A might be doing such kind of things. So everybody, those all those who are listening, and also tell this to the. Uh, the students of the morning uh, slot also uh, that uh, many of you might be doing that 
ક્યારેક એ છટકી જાઓ અથવા ધ્યાન ના આવે અથવા ભૂલાઈ જાય કહેવાનું એટલે તમે બીજી વખત વધુ પાવરફુલ થઈને કદાચ તમે આવું આગલા સેમેસ્ટર માં કર્યું હશે પકડાયા નહીં હો એટલે તમે માસ્ટર થઈ ગયા પાછા એટલે આપણે ખોટી બાબતો ને માસ્ટર થતા જાય કોઈ પકડે નહીં ટોકે નહીં ટકોર ન કરે તો પછી આપણે એ બાબતોમાં મસ્ટરી મેળવતા જતા હોઈએ છીએ સો સી ધીસ એવરીબડી ધેટ મેક યોર ઓન 5 મિનિટ્સ ઓન્લી વી આર આસ્કિંગ વી આર નોટ ટેલિંગ ધેટ ટેક અ લેક્ચર ઓફ 45 મિનિટ્સ ઓર 1 આર એન્ડ 5 મિનિટ્સ માં તો તમારી પાસે કંઈક મુદ્દો તો હોય જ ને કે જે તમે વાત કરી શકો હા યુ કેન ગીવ ધેટ ઓલસો ઓકે એવરીબડી સ્ટાર્ટ માર્કિંગ યસ એવરીબડી સ્ટાર્ટ ગીવિંગ યોર સ્કોર ક્વેશ્ચન્સ ટુ સ્તુતિ ઇન ચેટ એન્ડ સ્તુતિ યુ ઓલસો રિપ્લાય ધોઝ ક્વેશ્ચન્સ વેરી ક્વિકલી we are here for one more minute uh, and uh, yes everybody i think i have received responses from four students riddhi latta sneha and nidhi other students also quickly give your scores don't make it duplicate jignesh in the morning has given twice and hiral has given the marking to anjali also who was absent now see this is very surprising ke je vidyarthi e presentation aapyu j nahi ane tame mark kem aapi sako સિવાય કે તમે માર્કિંગ આપવામાં સિન્સિયર ન હો તો એટલે શંકા જાય કે તમે દરેક પ્રકારના માર્કિંગમાં ઇન્સિન્સિયરિટી રાખતા હશો કે ફોર્મ ખોઈ લો ને ફટાફટ માર્ક આપીને સબમિટ કરી દઈએ અધરવાઇઝ યુ વિલ રિમેમ્બર ધીઝ પર્સન એમને પ્રેઝન્ટેશન આપ્યું છે કે નહીં પ્રેઝન્ટેશન જ ન આપ્યું હોય અને વેન યુ ગીવ માર્ક સો ઇટ ઇઝ વેરી અલાર્મિંગ કે આટલે આટલા લેવલની ઇન્સિન્સિયરિટી પણ હજી એમ એના વિદ્યાર્થીઓમાં પણ હોય તો હજી અમારે કેટલી બધી મહેનત કરવી પડશે વર્તન સુધારવા માટે હજી કેટલી બધી મહેનત કરવી પડશે અને તમે અમારો પૂરેપૂરો પગાર વસૂલ કરી લેશો પૂરેપૂરો પગાર સરકાર અમને આપે છે એટલે તમે બરાબર બધી આવું બધું કરી કરી અને પૂરો પગાર વસૂલ થવો જોઈએ યસ થ્રી ફોર ફાઈવ સ્ટીલ ફાઈવ આઈ હેવ રિસીવ ફાઈવ સ્ટુડન્ટ સ્ટીલ નોટ ડન બાય એવરીબડી માર્કિંગ ઇઝ સ્ટીલ નોટ ડન બાય એવરીબડી okay so tomorrow our our presentations will be on yeah, american literature and literary theory and criticism yes tomorrow the same way but in the reverse order the slot will be uh, there so we are ending our uh, session here okay